The 2019 Women's World Cup is nearly here. Hello everyone, I'm Drew Goldfarb, joined by Taylor Smith, and today we're breaking down the upcoming World Cup, covering everything from how to place a bet to which team or teams we suggest betting on. Taylor, let's start with the basics. If someone is looking to wager on the Women's World Cup, how can they do that and what type of bets are available? There are plenty of options. Uh, obviously, you can bet on each individual game uh, for the group stages coming up. Uh, spread, money line, total, the usual stuff. Uh, you can also still bet futures, obviously, which team will win the tournament as a whole and which team will win each of the individual groups. So there's no shortage of betting options at all. When looking at the field for this tournament, who are some of the potential sleepers that you've noticed? So England comes in at plus 600, I'm seeing. This team just won the She Believes Cup. Uh, they beat France, the hosts, and the Americans, obviously the favorites. Uh, they should be pretty confident coming into this, and I think plus 600 is decent value. They also finished third at the 2015 World Cup. Uh, Norway won the Algarve Cup. Uh, you can get them at plus 1,600 to win the tournament, plus 550 to win their group, which also includes France. So it's a tough group, but uh, this is a really high-octane offensive team. They uh, shot 26 times against Poland in the final of the Algarve Cup on a, an eventual 3 nothing win. So that's a decent team at plus 1,600. And then Scotland is kind of the opposite. They're a defensive-minded team. They'll kind of park the bus and use the counter whenever they can opportunistically. Uh, plus 1,600 to win Group D, plus 15,000 to win the tournament. Uh, so if you're into a long shot, Scotland. A dollar on Scotland could pay off for 150 bucks. That's, uh, those are some long odds. Uh, on the other side of that coin, which teams do you feel might be overvalued by the odds makers? So the Americans, obviously the favorites that won the last World Cup, they're three-time champions. They're coming in at two to one which I think is a little bit optimistic since, you know, it's not being hosted here at the World Cups in France. Uh, they're down five of the 14 players that actually saw the field in the last World Cup. Hope Solo has been replaced in goal by Alyssa Nayer. Uh, obviously less of a proven commodity. Hope Solo, Hope Solo is kind of the face or was the face of American soccer. So two to one, I don't love that. And Japan at plus 1400, I think is a little bit weak as well. Uh, this is not the same team that won the 2011 World Cup. They don't have many of the same players at all. So of the teams with decent odds to win, I don't really like Japan at plus 1,400. Finally, the all-important question, who will win the Women's World Cup this year? What's your pick for 2019? Obviously, I would love the Americans to make it back-to-back -back wins. Uh, that's still the most talented team in the field. So even if it's a bit different from the team we saw four years ago, I think it's still a decent bet. Even if I'm not a fan of the odds in terms of likelihood, it's still a pretty good shot. Um, France plus 350, the host nation that came close four years ago. I think France is a decent bet there as well. And I think if you're wanting a long shot that's not Scotland, I think the Netherlands at plus 1400 are a bit undervalued. Uh, this is a team that's kind of an up and comer. They don't have a long track record when it comes to women's soccer, but they've fared well in recent tournaments. And I think they have the talent to actually make a run. So. USA, France, England, and Netherlands would be the top four. Taylor Smith, thank you so much. You can find plenty more from Taylor online at gamblingsites.org. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check out all of our other videos and articles for more picks, tips, and how-to guides. I'm Drew Goldfarb. He's Taylor Smith. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.